was a sight for my soul. Today is we're just diving right in as you saw I already wrapped one of the flares um, got it ready But as you can guess by that and the title That today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be trying to get all the extra flares on so we have Only one on the car right now and now we're gonna get the other three the back one is just a quick wrap That one's easy, but the front two are gonna take a little bit of fiberglass work to try to get those ready So I'm gonna take you outside and we'll show you what we need to get done today So I'm not sure if any of you noticed that there's only that one flare on right now, but I do have this other flare done, wrapped with me, and it's pretty much ready to be put on, or the flare is itself, but the reason that I haven't been putting on any of the other flares yet is, one, because the front bumper is a bit complicated how they're attached, and I need to get some Downstar hardware, because when I did it, I was told to use rivets, and so I riveted, in, riveted it in, and also Downstar hardware is like a few hundred bucks if you're trying to get the whole set, so I need to splurge and not get the whole thing, you'll probably just get five or six with the front bumper, because that is all one flare attachment because they don't make any Supra flare kits so have to make do. But anyway, so for this part right here, uh, the flare will just go over top here, but what's happening is right down, let me see if I can get you in close, right down in this whole gunky area, um, the flare's just having a little trouble getting something to seat into. So um, I may need to go over it with fiberglass or something to make sure that I have enough room for the holes to go in and the rivets to stick in. I think the holes may widen out. Um, if not, then I'm just gonna go ahead and pop that in. So I'll set you guys down now and let's get that one flare in and then move on to the front. So put that flare back on and I um, just wanna take this time to show you something that that you'll probably run into if you have a kit like what I'm doing where I'm taking a kit for that's meant for another car and putting on mine, especially if you have fiberglass, you could work this out with ABS or if you have a plastic or something that you can mold with a heat gun, but so a lot of times people, you're gonna get these gaps right here. I don't know how well you can see it. There's not a huge gap. Um, you may be able to see it a little better up here. But there's a gap between the actual flare and the, um, the body itself. So with a lot of finagling and you could use fiberglass to kind of reshape your bumper just a little bit or to reshape, sorry, your, your flare a little bit. You can use that to kind of get it to the position that you want. Um, but for me, I use a seam sealer, which you'll see me do later on. I just don't have any at the moment because I've been kind of more focused on the end of the swap and just using what I have right now to get it ready. But with that, I could kind of seal up the edges a little bit better. Uh, one thing I did notice was I misjudged the um, the gas plate, little plate, plate actually. So I made it too small. You can see the yellow behind there. I think you can see the yellow. Um, the screen that I have on this camera is absolute trash. Um, and the battery's almost dead too, so I need to throw that on the charger. Gosh darn it, I thought I did last night. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and set you guys down really quickly, make sure the gas cap can open. Or can open. Actually, let's just go test it right now. Make sure that could open, and then we can move on and do the rest of the front flares. Where's the one? Oh, there we go. It's on the opposite side. It's on the outside side of the car that I'm driving right now. And yep, there we go. So it doesn't hit at all. I know it looks like it overlaps a little bit, but there's about a centimeter gap right here that folds back, and boom, just like that. That's all set. All righty, let's move on to the front. So I had a little bit of a whoopsie trying to get this on, or put the front bumper on. So I got it all on, which you can see, it looks pretty snazzy, but I accidentally chipped off a little corner of the headlight. It's just so old that as soon as I hit the little tab, the molding tab that it has right there, this whole thing chipped off, and that's an actual gap, so I'll need to go back and fix that. Though I am looking to get new headlights, so if anyone knows of any that are willing to hook me up, let me know, and I may be able to do that. 
Um, also, some other things we ran into. We ran into another problem mainly with the front bumper, which is that it doesn't quite line up because the inner cooler it has two tabs on the bottom end of it for mounting. I think they just make a universal inner cooler design that make mounts for the car. But anyway, those two tabs are hitting on the splitter. I'll see if I can get under and show you. Um, I'm not sure how well you're able to tell, but if you can see that right in that area, there's a little bulge down. Uh, that's because one of the tabs is hitting it right there. And same for the other side. Uh, so that leaves me in a little predicament because what's happening is I can't line up these flares with this push down because I need this to be pushed all the way up here. The flares are going to come come up, and then I want to do one piece down here, a little split up there. But I need them all together because because the flares are just weird. So it's like three pieces where one ends here, another ends here, and another ends there. Where I want to get these two meshed, but these ones overlap still. So anyway, it's just a little weird situation that I need to get the flares all into one big flare before I can cut them up and reline them. So I need the bumper together for that. Um, but the problem that we're running into is that front bumper. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and take the front bumper off again and then I'll take out the intercooler. I do have it just temporarily mounted right now so I think I'm going to take that off, shave off those bottom mounts, uh, more permanently mount it, and then get back to you guys with a better plan of what we're going to do. So it's going to be a lot of tedious work that I'm going to have to go back and forth on. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip that. Sorry if you wanted to see it. I'll walk you a little through it. Once I'm done, I'll show you the mounts and stuff, but let's go ahead and skip that and see it right back to working on the flares. All right, so that front bumper's on. I had a little issues with the intercooler, but now it's all straight and good, which is fantastic. So that's a problem that doesn't even need to be worried about, it, and it's all permanently mounted um, up top of the brackets like it should be. But now we're here for the flares today. So let me show you what we're looking at, and it is this. So we have one flare all the way across um, but these two pieces right here, we can see that line, and then there are separate pieces. Um, I'd cut it there first when I put the monster that way because it ended up down there, so I could have two separate pieces, which we may go back to. Um, but for now, we're going to just make it all one, and then we can cut it later um, if we need to. So, uh, the plan of attack is I'm going to first uh, rivet this piece to this piece to make it one piece because there's a little lip here, same on that there, that we can get. So that way, this is all just one which will be great because uh, since this is all going to be on the bottom piece, you don't need to have that split anyway. Uh, second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be repairing this section right here. So I'm just going to grind down this area there and then go ahead and fill it in with a new layer of body filler. I'm also going to do some fiberglass filler first uh, to get that strong and then strengthen the back side as well. I need to fix this right here. It cracked and so I need to fill the back side of that. And then also on the back side of this, this part sticks out on the flare um, up this way where on my car, it's right in here where it dips in. So I need to just put some filler on the back side to keep it more flush. Um, and that's really the plan of that. I'm gonna be doing both sides at the same time, but I'll probably just be showing you this to keep this episode from dragging on too long. So uh, let's just go ahead and sit you guys down. And I'm pretty much just gonna do a time lapse of the whole thing because there's a lot going on with not an excessive amount um, to talk about. So let's just go to riveting, body filling, and then hopefully smoothing up so we could prime, paint, and wrap. So let's just get going.
All right, so I'm ending this here. Um, I got one done and I'm just gonna finish up the other one off camera. Um, they're not going back on the car in this episode, but they will on another because I still have the canards to so do and need to do some fitting up to make sure that um, the works just right. So anyway, that is that. Um, sorry there's been a little lack of videos. I've been kind of working on, excuse me, bouncing back and forth between the flares and trying to get the car started for the first time. And I don't really want to put an episode out um, before it's not before it started because it's just a bunch of wiring, which is really not the most exciting thing to watch. So anyway. That is that. There will be an episode coming soon. I'm going to guarantee at least one a week of the car, if not more. Um, hopefully we can get it started soon. I've been trying to put in at least three days a week on it, and it's a lot of looking at diagrams. So anyway, I'm going to shut up now. Thank you guys for watching again. Do the usual. Dislike, subscribe, leave your hit in the comments, guys. Bye.